morning everybody welcome back to another vlog the lighting and the sound is probably not ideal for this sorry about that i have unexpectedly sat in an hour and a half of morning traffic it honestly i'm not gonna say that it's as bad as la here obviously but it is so much worse than it used to be oh my goodness the traffic in phoenix has gotten crazy but i am just headed to grab some coffee before i get my hair done today i'm so excited i haven't gotten my hair done since like i think right before we left oh sorry about that i have a uh, quite a bit of root grow out at the moment so i think the last time i got my hair done was the end of june and is now nearing the end of september so that's like almost three months that's crazy this week will have been 12 weeks or something like that 11 weeks which is i usually go like six to eight so it's definitely time i actually drove back to like the other side of town to the girl that i used to go to because she just does my blonde right you know like she really is just the blonde queen so yeah that's what i'm up to just gonna go pretty blonde which is kind of opposite of like what most people are doing for fall but i just like don't want to lose the momentum <laughs> that i've gained with this blonde like i don't want to like keep going back and forth and doing a little bit of brown and then like red and then going back to blonde and like you know messing up my hair like that so anyway here is a look at the before here are my roots i need to put on some lipstick <laughs> i'm gonna finish eating my breakfast getting my coffee i think i'm gonna make it to my appointment with like two minutes to spare so i will check in with you after i have new beautiful blonde hair for fall because like why not everyone else is going darker i'm gonna go lighter Okay, it's kind of hard to tell. The lighting is weird. It's also randomly raining, but uh, <laughs> uh, my God, I am so happy with it. I knew she would kill it. I knew she would. I'm so thrilled to be a freaking blondie again. Like this is blonde. Oh my God, I'm so thrilled. Yeah, it's randomly raining, which is like so exciting because I love the smell of rain in Arizona, but I'm hoping that that means that there aren't any accidents on the way home because I have a long journey. But either way, so glad I did this. I'm gonna pick up some lunch. I'm gonna head home and we will check in later, but I am super blonde and so thrilled about it. most random clip to insert but basically um it's like a couple days later i think or the next day i don't know and when i was out every one of your vlogs well it's been a few days i got this coke because i've seen everyone talking about how coke made an oreo flavored coke zero and then oreo made a coke zero flavored oreo didn't get the oreos but i've seen people try this and like i'm really intrigued by it so I stopped at the gas station yesterday, um, or I guess, yeah, it was yesterday, on the way home from my appointment, and I picked it up. So we're gonna see what it's all about. Drew's been wanting to try it, and I've been making it great. Right. I don't like diet things, so. Yeah, I feel like that's like more what you're gonna taste than anything. Okay, so it is a Oreo flavored Coke Zero. Mm. I think it just smells like Coke Zero. I can smell chocolate. Kind of Maybe like, like vanilla Coke, kind of? Kind of smells like a Coke float with chocolate ice cream. Okay, let's try it. I know you're trying to get out of the frame, but you're not going to. It's like a skirt. Come here, kitty. Okay. Here I go. Don't have too much of caffeine. Mm. It just tastes like vanilla Coke. Can you really taste it? I don't taste any Oreo at all. I taste the like vanilla essence, but I don't taste anything like Oreo adjacent. It just tastes like vanilla. It's good. You probably hate it because of the, <laughs> the aspartame. It was, it was fine until, until it's always diet the head. last bit. It has that Oreo cookie oh. 
I don't. I don't I've say, heard people say that, but I, just I don't want to say like it. it's bitter. You know, Oreo cookie like the. Mm -hmm. It's like a dark chocolate. You flavor. like the dark cocoa? No, I just taste vanilla coke. No, I don't like it. Well, I don't like it because it's. Coke oh. zero. I mean, it's all right, but I would never buy it again. But then the next step in this taste test is to wait to so get the Coke are, flavored are Oreos. The Oreos sugar free as well. I don't know. <laughs> right. We'll see. Just make it with sugar. <laughs> God. <laughs> That's our official review. Good morning, it is now the next day. I wasn't vlogging yesterday, so I just thought I would like insert that little clip because I was like, I want to try this Coke, but I don't want to vlog today. Yesterday was definitely like an editing catch up day, but anyways, it is Wednesday now. I have a very busy day today. It is currently 7.30 in the morning. I've just showered and gotten ready. I'm getting ready to, I have just like a very busy day because I think I mentioned this in the last vlog, but I have a lot of travel coming up in the co next couple of weeks. So next week, I'm actually going to San Diego to visit Sierra. I'm so excited excited about that she um, invited me to do a little collab together and it's honestly been too long I think the last time we did like an actual main channel collab was for our Taylor Swift videos that we did in 2021 Oh my god, that's in that's insane. It's just been too long and like the times that we do get together We're either like not filming at all or we're just like getting little vlog clips here and there But we're actually doing like a full-out hashtag Daisy collab. I'm so excited about that So that'll be really fun. That's next week and then the week after that we're actually going to Big Bear with some friends So our friends Josh and Noel and then Drew and myself are gonna go to Big Bear We got a little cabin. It's gonna be really really fun So with that in combination with my editor being out of town, obviously I'm so happy that she's enjoying herself, but that just means I have to do a lot in advance so basically today yeah it's 7 30 i want to be done or maybe it's just before eight actually now but i want to be done filming the, this little section that i'm doing right now in like the next 20 minutes um hopefully it won't take that long it's just like a quick little ad read i have to film some b-roll for it after that then i have to film some sections for the collabs that are going up with sierra which i'm so excited about so for my video and for her video then i have to film a fitting room video today i'm sure i forgot stuff but i have a lot to do there's a lot to cover why i'm starting a vlog vlog right now I don't know but I just thought I'll bring you along with me on my busy day we'll um we'll keep each other company so first things first got to get this thing done I am hopeful that I'm gonna knock it out but I am terrible at reading ads because I just like the second I see something it just e escapes my brain I have no idea where it went I'm just terrible at it so fingers crossed for me all right I'm on to video number two sort of um but i just realized that i cannot take it anymore with these freaking cords in the background of like everything i film and i'm doing some like mirror shots so i did finally get in these like i guess they're outlet cord organizers or something i got these from walmart but there are tons of options out there and basically you just stick all of your power strips cords whatever into these little things and so i'm gonna try it i don't know <laughs> about this angle We'll try like this. I'm not sure if this is gonna be the solution I'm looking for, but I have a feeling it's definitely gonna be better than what I've currently got. So I'm gonna like untangle this. I also got these cable ties so that if, you know, any cords are straggling along, we can just tie them up. Just winging it here. Okay, this already has a cable tie on it. So we're gonna gather all these and then i guess i'll stick this in here and then it comes out this side oh yeah that's <laughs> gonna be a million times better we will gather all the excess oh my god this is gonna be a freaking game changer this one already has a built-in cord strip thing we will just wrap this around here oh why did i take so long to do this this is everything and then there's also a lid okay the lid on there oops <laughs> my god that is so much better i mean it's not like completely fixed but i mean it looks a lot more organized than all of the pile sitting on the floor i immediately feel better okay now we'll do the other one the other one's messier and that's why i got the bigger one for that okay here is what we're working with so ugly, so unorganized. So, okay, let's do the thing. Wow, so much better. I mean, 
mean, it's definitely not perfect, but it's a lot more neat <laughs> than it was. Like, wow. Does that still bother me a ton? Yes. Is there anything I can do about it particularly? Not really. If you have any advice, let me know, but at least it's better than what it was. Video two is done. We are on to video three. It's about 10, 30, I think. 11 but we're keeping on on to the next i am happy to report that video number three is done and there is no mess i have cleaned up after myself after the video immediately ended and i am shocked because i just tried on like six full outfits for two different videos so i am quite pleased with myself i also have some unfortunate news and that is that sierra ended up getting sick and so i'm not able to go to san diego next week it was literally in like a couple days anyways um so unfortunately we're gonna have to postpone that a couple weeks but we're still going we're still doing the collab everything's still happening it's just gonna be a couple weeks later which honestly the vlogs may be a little bit delayed for you guys but the main channel videos will probably go up around the same time anyways okay I am going to take a little break for lunch. I think it's like close to noon now. I'm gonna fix this hanger because this is bothering the shit out of me. And I think I'm making pretty good time. I can't remember if I mentioned it, but I do have a hard out at 2 p.m. So I do need to like kind of be quick here. I have two hours to finish one final video and I will be cleaning out this closet, which I kind of did in a recent vlog, but this is, oh my God, I'm kind of scared. This is actually, okay, you can't see that at all. This is all the bags that I brought in in a recent vlog that I actually need to go through. Like I need to purge a lot of this stuff because that is just excessive. I have thrifted like a ton of sweaters and stuff over the years. So that needs to um, be taken care of immediately. So we're gonna do a little food break and then we're gonna get back to it. Everybody. It is the next day. It is just shy of 9 a.m. And I'm getting ready to head out to the mall to do a fitting room video in a bit. Is this lens dirty? Hold on. Sorry about that. Just finished getting ready. I'm going to make our bed quickly and then pretty much the mall opens I think at like 10 so I want to get there honestly right when they open. That's what's on the plan and then I have to come home and do some more editing. I don't know why I'm sharing so much of my main channel schedule on this. I'm just telling you what's going on in my life, honestly. We had a great night with our niece last night. We took her to gymnastics. We hung out with her. We put her to bed. And we didn't get home until like 9.30 or something last night. So it was a long day. I think I started at 7.30 a.m. and ended at like 9.30. So it was a long one. Anyways, I'm just going to make our bed. Actually, we got this new sheet set from Ikea or like bedding from Ikea. The sheets, terrible horrible worst scratchiest sheets in the entire world but the duvet cover set is like actually really nice so i'll show you okay here it is so obviously i have to make it but it's like this really pretty kind of gardeny vibe i think it goes really well with everything in our room so i love it the sheets however i think i'm gonna have to give away like they're terrible <laughs> they're so scratchy i don't know if it's worth trying to wear them and like soften them up but um we just wanted to switch it up a little bit and have something a little darker in here because i feel like this room is just so bright it's like the curtains match the walls match the bedding that we had on here like everything was just kind of monotone so there we go here it is we're gonna make the bed now fun fact i only really started making my bed when i was like 36 i'm being so honest <laughs> really does help you feel better. And it just like starts your day off on the right foot, you know? Ah, oh, that feels so much better. These pillows are all secondhand. These two were from Etsy, I think, on the outside. And then this middle one we got at an estate set. So cute. All right, it's actually a couple hours later. I am outside of the mall. I just finished up with my filming and it's about just before noon actually. So I was in there for like an hour, almost two hours. I did get myself a Jamba Juice. I just had like a classic mall experience. You know, I went into my fitting room, you know, did my video, did my work. Then there was a Bath and Body Works right across. So I said, obviously I need to get a couple fall candles. Should I do a little haul? Let's just do a haul. Sorry in advance if the air conditioning is loud. I'm doing my best. Okay, so from Bath and Body Works, cute, this is like an old school YouTube video. I got, first I got a hand sanitizer because last night we were at gymnastics with my niece and she was like, can I have some hand sanitizer? And I was like, I don't have any. So it's good to just have in my bag. This is the pink chiffon scent. Pink chiffon. Yeah, 
It smells really good. Okay, and then I got a car air freshener, because why not? This is the scent Laundry Day. I just can't do anything like too intense, you know what I mean? What was that? I have no idea. Okay. I used to have these in high school. This is funny. Mm, I'm not sure how I feel about that, but that's okay. We'll we'll get there. We'll work on it. Lovely. Okay. And then, actually, I'll put this in my bag. And then I got two candles. I got mahogany vanilla. So good. I love the mahogany teakwood scent. So this is just that with a little bit of vanilla added in there, like some warmth. Uh-huh, this is good. Mahogany teakwood, for those of you that weren't around in like the great candle extravaganza of like 2013, um, people were obsessed with mahogany teakwood because it smells exactly like Abercrombie perfume, cologne, fierce maybe? Oh, it smells so good. Here's what it looks like. And actually this candle is normally $26.95, but all three wick candles were like $13 on sale. So I got that one. And then I got this one, whipped honey and vanilla. Oh, heavenly. This one is absolutely stunning. So we got both of those. And then I did pop into Sephora, cause why not? I've been meaning to try a couple of things. The first one is this Josie Marin body butter. I've seen everyone use these like big tubs and I thought about getting it and I was like, that's really expensive. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. And they have a like travel size version. I got the vanilla vibes scent, vanilla vibes with a Z. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of hand sanitizer cause I was just inside of them all. And then I wanna put this on cause I wanna see what it's all about. So let's Twist her open. I can't smell anything. Crap. <gasps> okay. <laughs> there we go. Let's see what it's all about. Ooh, that is luxurious. Wow. It's very, very subtle from what I can tell. I may have to wait until, like, you know, I'm fresh out of the shower or something, but that's nice. I also got the Huda Beauty Easy Blur Foundation. I've seen like all of the girlies talking about this and I can use any blurring for my skin that I can get. I just have very textured, porous skin. Then I also got this Cactus Fruit 3-in-1 Styling Cream and Taming Wand from Day. I already used the styling cream. I actually have it in my hair today, but this is like a little hair flyaway mascara thing. So you just do that, and then you tame your flyaways. And I have a slick back today, so let's see if it does anything for my flyaways, because I did just try on a bunch of stuff, so let's see. Oh yeah, got some flyaways up here. Oh yeah, that's good. That'll be nice to just like keep in my car or in my purse or something for when I need to tame the flyaways, and it smells so good. That scent is just so, so good to me. And then I got a refill or a, just a rebuy, repurchase of the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. This is a classic. Whoa, I'm zoomed in, hello. And then in case you were wondering, I also got a Jamba Juice strawberry, I never had it before, strawberry Caribbean something or other. Mm -hmm. And then I did pick up a couple things at Lululemon. That is enough purchasing of things for me today. I wish that buying things didn't make me so happy, but here we are. Okay, we're gonna head home. And I have a lot of editing to do, but I'm feeling good. I'm glad I got that out of the way. I'm like working ahead, as I've mentioned before, and I just feel very, um, very productive. So let's head home. All right, it is now the next day yet again. So we have quite literally gone Monday through Friday. So this is a week in my life kind of vlog. Wasn't what I intended, but I feel like when Drew dragged me earlier, he was like, isn't that always how your vlogs go? It's like, oh, it's been a few days. I'm so scatterbrained, I'll like just pick it up from time to time. But anyways, me and my um giant zit here, which actually hurts so bad, are just doing a little bit of catch up editing. We have quite a bit to do, but I'm procrastinating. Um, we actually finished watching, we, last night we finished watching The Perfect Couple on Netflix. I hope that fan isn't blowing into this. Maybe I'll cover it. We watched The Perfect Couple on Netflix, which I believe originally was a book and I never read the book, but we watched the show and it was pretty good. Like we enjoyed it. I would definitely recommend it. If you're into kind of like a dramatic, suspenseful, who done it type of thing then I would say go for it check it out we finished it in like a few days and um, it's essentially like this insanely rich family in Nantucket and something 
scandalous happens and you kind of have to figure out who's responsible, you know, the typical thing. Um, so yeah, that was really good. We started the Menendez Brothers show last night called Monsters, Monsters, and it seems crazy so far. We only watched the first episode and whoa, it is like so dramatic and so intense. Um, but it's just cool seeing like different parts of LA that we know where it is and yeah, we'll see where that ends up going. I'm hoping that it'll end up being a really good show, but that's pretty much it. That's where we're at. I do feel like I have this like depressive cloud that has been lifting. I feel like I'm becoming a little bit more like myself. I mean, it's been no secret that the last few months have been really tough. And on top of that, I feel like I get this sort of like reverse seasonal depression <laughs> when I'm here in Arizona. Like I, I mean, it's literally dread. Um, just because the weather is so awful, you can't go outside, you can't really do anything unless you're like in a body of water. Even just like running little errands and things like that, it is really, really difficult. It's similar to like someone who would live in an extremely cold climate. I know when I lived in Maine like 10 years ago, it was really hard. It was really, really hard. It was like very, very cold and not in a way that I had ever experienced before in, in a way that like it gets into your bones. Like it's a hassle to go anywhere to do anything. You do feel like you're hibernating for an extended period of time and that's how it feels in the summer here and now that there's just been a little little budge when it comes to the really intense temperatures it's making quite a difference in my mental well-being overall I know a lot of people feel the same way when they live in like a hotter climate it is truly like four to five months worth of really awful intense practically unbearable weather so I'm sorry I'm talking the weather so much in the last few vlogs um there are greater problems obviously but now that it's just like a little bit of hope in sight i'm feeling like myself again a little bit so that's really nice i am super grateful for that so yeah i just wanted to say a big thanks for watching this vlog for hanging out with me today for spending the week with me really it's gonna be a whole lot of the same exact thing today that you've seen throughout this vlog so there's no need to like continue it but sincerely thank you so much for clicking on this video for being here for hanging out with me and i will see you very soon in the next vlog